This is Michelle and I, and this is the astrological update for Virgo for the week starting the 7th of January. Now this week there is an action-packed sky, but it's all pointing generally in one direction. And for you, good news, it's all about pleasure, playfulness and love affairs. Doesn't get much better than that. You're awakening to your child within. And in fact, you might be quite narky, as we say in England, with anybody that is trying to push you to overcommit to things. That's because the week starts off with Mercury, the planet of communication, conjunct Pluto, the Lord of transformation, i.e. you might say something that is irreversible or someone might say something to you that's irreversible, but it's all about pleasure, playfulness, soulmates and friskiness. So hopefully it will be good news in the end, but it quite, could be quite a surprise at the time because Pluto, as you've heard me say before, no doubt, does not take any prisoners. We also have a T-square, which is making you again feel where is the balance between my work, which actually may be going quite well for you, and me time, and you have to work that out. And also, are you being realistic in relationships? You're very focused on love and relationships, but it's important not to be too Neptunian about them and look at them through rose-tinted glasses. Be very real in the way that you look at relationships and the way that you balance that with work. Having said that, Venus, the planet of love, is really giving you a gift because it's also entering that place of, of frisky, happy, childlike joy, let's all have a party and enjoy life and introducing you to people that just make you feel good about you. And we have a new moon conjuncting that Venus, which is saying it's a new start for you when it comes to pleasure. It's a new start for you when it comes to being childlike and playful. If you don't have that energy of being playful in your life, really, this is the time you are being given a big boot up the bottom by the universe and saying, it is time to have fun, kitty cat, and not hold back. And if you aren't convinced by that, how about the fact that there is a stellium at the end of the week, i.e. we have the sun, the moon, Mercury, Venus, and Pluto all whispering in your ear and, and battering you around with pleasure, joy, fun, and happiness. You know, you're lucky because some of the other signs are, are being given other messages. You know, that's a joyful message. And your commitment this week needs to be have fun. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.